guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we are doing a vintage chic scents haul. Now, you know, I love Kirby and I love vintage chic scents, but I also paid for these things myself, so I will be giving you my honest opinions of them. I did sneak sniff most of these, and I love everything. So, but at this point in wax, I feel like, and especially when you get a vendor you really like, once you look at the scent list and the notes, you kind of know, oh, I really like her, blah, blah, blah. Or I really don't like their, blah, blah, blah. So whenever you're shopping the vendor, you get to really understand what you like and what you don't. So I pretty much know what I like and some really exciting things here that I actually helped create with Kirby. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. First start out with a sample, and Kirby always sends a sample with every order, and mine is in the holiday, and I have talked about this scent before. It's Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Now, with this scent, I feel like it is definitely Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie heavy, but if I did not read the scent that has Cupcakes at Tiffany's in the name, I would know it's Cupcakes at Tiffany's, because it's that rich, cakey, cupcake type of scent with the creamy chocolate frosting and the toffee. Like, you definitely can taste that, or taste that. You can smell that in the scent shot with the blackberry jam butter cookie. It's a really good scent. I really like it. It's definitely good if you're a bakery lover. All right, so I think we'll start with the leaves since it still is fall. I have a mixture of fall and Christmas in here, but I did get five of her two-pack of leaves. I actually got... This is literally a haul of my favorite shapes, which I love. So these are her two pack of leaves. So you get two really nice sized leaves. I typically cut these in half or in thirds and pop them into my warmers. They're amazing. And this first one is the Great Coffee Pumpkin. Pumpkin layer cake covered in cream cheese frosting with a steaming mug of Cafe Cubano, which is also one of her coffee scents. I don't necessarily detect pumpkin cake. I definitely detect a cream cheese cake though. So to me, when I smell this, it kind of gears towards like a coffee flavored coffee cake with the streusel on top, that really rich cinnamony sugar with that coating of brown sugar. That's what I'm sticking with with the great coffee pumpkin. I think it smells more like a coffee scented coffee cake, which also sounds delicious. And then Catherine King, Wendy Torrance. She loves this one. And this is, make some apple butter zucchini bread in the kitchen at the Overlook Hotel with Wendy and Danny. But watch out for Jack. So this is apple butter zucchini bread. Or, yeah, apple butter zucchini bread. This is a genuine apple butter scent. You know how sometimes... When you smell an apple butter, it comes across as just like an apple cinnamon. This smells like the creamy, like you go to your fam favorite uh, local farmer's market and they have pumpkin butter and apple butter and you really can't decide which one you like because you like both. And apple butter. And zucchini bread is not super spicy. Kirby does zucchini bread so well. It's creamy, it's rich, it's decadent, it's just the right amount of spice, which is what I love about the zucchini bread she uses. Mmm, and mixed with that really fresh apple butter. Like, you can tell that it's like a homemade apple butter fragrance. Mmm, it's delish. And then we have David S. Pumpkins, and this says, enjoy this blend of caramelized pralines, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and creamy pumpkin on the haunted elevator. Any questions? I'm so horrible I don't know any of these references, but I, I never do. There's there's very few that I know the reference to. One, I'm pretty, uh, I, I know it very well, and we'll talk about that, but, oh, it's so good. It's definitely a creamy pumpkin. If you're looking for a pumpkin scent that is not spicy, David S. Pumpkins is for you. It has more of the gooey, ooey gooey pumpkin because the Cupcakes at Tiffany's and the Caramelized Pralines leans more towards ooey gooey. And then with the Creamy Pumpkin, I mean, it does. It smells like like a vanilla 
buttery caramel pumpkin. That is really good if you're not a big spicy pumpkin fan. I like both forms of pumpkin, but you're always in the mood for something different. Hence why wax is so fun. Next one is Hey Boo. And Hey Boo is salted butterscotch and vanilla bean noel. Super excited to try this one. I love salted butterscotch scents. Mmm, and like vanilla bean noel for me is so hard to detect. And I feel like anything that it's in, I do know. Shantae. My cat is like going crazy in the background. It really does. It smells like the best, like, creamy vanilla butterscotch candy. Like, there's a TikTok that I watch. It's like an old-fashioned candy store, and they make the best-looking candy. I, I'm sure you've seen it. They, like, roll the candy, and then they slice it, and they break it down on the counter, and then, like, it breaks into, like, 50 pieces. This is what I imagine on Butterscotch Day. This is what their factory would smell like. Or their shop. It's not really a factory, but it, it it's like, ugh. Butterscotch is such an interesting one because I think it automatically gravitates towards like old people. Butter pecan and butterscotch. But it's because it's so good and they know what they're talking about. It's yummy. Then we have Powdered Donut Cafe, which is powdered donuts and fresh picked strawberries. I was really excited to try this because it has her new powdered donut oil in it. I'm not picking up anything but fresh picked strawberries. Like, I, I know there's a bakery in it, but I can't necessarily say it smells like powdered donuts yet. This is also super fresh. It was poured October 12th. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm just getting, like, a creamy fresh pick strawberry. And Kirby does strawberry so well, so I'm definitely not upset by it. I love her strawberry, and I'm sure I'll love it with the powdered donut. Fed the cat, too, because she was awfully distracting. Now... Another shape, and Ramona made a video on it too. She's like, I don't know why I love the poinsettia so much. I just love them. And I do too. I think they're just such a great shape. They're flat, so they're easy to store. You can easily cut them into fourths and call it a day. Because they're thicker than the leaves, so you don't have to cut them into as big a pieces. They're awesome. And it is coming up into Christmas, so I did get some Christmas scents. My background will be changing very soon because... I'm ready. So the first one I got is Christmas Morning Cinnamon and Sugar Monkey Bread. Is monkey bread not like so good? It's so easy and I even do the recipe where it's like the canned biscuits and you cut them into fours, roll them in cinnamon and sugar and like, was it egg? And then not together. And then put it in the oven. The easier the better when it comes to cooking for me. This is a spicy cinnamon. So if you're not a big fan of like spicy cinnamon, I don't think you would like this. It's definitely more heavy on the cinnamon bakery, but I will say it does smell exactly like monkey bread. Like to a T. Like if I close my eyes and smell it, I can smell monkey bread, which I mean, most people do make their monkey bread with cinnamon sugar. I think that's the only way to make it. And it does capture like that true yeasty breadiness with the heaviness on the cinnamon. Next we have Clark's Christmas Vacation, and this is citrus, cranberry, orange, clove, and spiced apples. It smells just like Christmas. Ooh, it is definitely heavy on the... Hmm. I smell the orange and the clove very strongly. But the apple is, is also prominent. Like, this blend, I wouldn't even say it's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Like... 20% citrus, 20% cranberry, 20% orange, 20% clove, and 20% spiced apple. Because I, I, I can pick it all up. Like, as I smell it, it's like, if I close my eyes and sway, somebody commented that when I, like, go back and I smell a scent, you know it's good. And for this, it is so good. And the more I smell it, the more you smell something different. Like I said, it's a spice. It is like a hot toddy. Like, you get the orange and the clove and the... Mm, Wow, was that good. The next one, definitely different for me. Um, it doesn't actually have a name. It's just Spearmint Peppermint Cotton Candy Frosting. Can't go wrong. I thought she was going to stop. This is, it's definitely Spearmint and Peppermint. More emphasis on the Spearmint than the Peppermint. The Cotton Candy Frosting is just super sweet, so I don't necessarily detect that. 
but the spearmint 100% it's like a super sweet minty scent oh it's so yummy another go and this is gonna be a good nighttime blend I think why I like these type of scents for nighttime is because they're not very conventional. Again, I talk about that a lot. I don't like, like, lavender a lot, so you won't find a ton of lavender in my hauls. If I do get night blends, it's definitely more like spearmint, peppermint, sweet, bakery. Clara's Nutcracker Sweet. Vanilla cake covered in candy cane... No, cotton candy. <laughs> Let's back this up. Vanilla cake covered in cotton candy frosting and gooey marshmallows. There we go. This one's just okay. It's like vanilla cake, cotton candy frosting, and gooey marshmallow. It's kind of like a blender mixed together. Like those are three scents that you would just typically blend together. It's like a, like a creamy sweet vanilla. That's what I would say, like a creamy sweet vanilla. I think this will be a good blender. This might also be like a good, if I have company coming over and I don't really want anything super offensive. Central Park Snow Globe. I feel like this is a classic. Kirby's known for this scent. It's Peppermint Cream Noel. So, rich vanilla peppermint and vanilla bean Noel. And it's so good. I, I love this every year. This is something you could melt all year long because it is, again, that creamy peppermint. I think this smells better than Twisted Peppermint because Twisted Peppermint's good, it just can be a little too sharp on the peppermint. Like, if you guys smelled the Twisted Peppermint hand soap this year, it is like not Twisted Peppermint. It literally is like peppermint. I think they forgot the vanilla. It's weird. Cookie and Cocoa Dispenser. Right, rich sugar cookies and hot cocoa. I was really excited for this one. I love a hot cocoa scent. I do have a hot cocoa and cream candle from last year that I'm super excited to burn and melt all my hot cocoa scents that week. Oh, this is nice. It definitely takes that hot cocoa and sweetens it up, but also mellows it out at the same time because the sugar cookie is really just, I don't know, it's very, it's very calming, I almost want to say. Like, definitely not spa-like because hot chocolate's not spa-like, but... It's like happy and cozy and comforting. It's yummy. Then we have It's a Wonderful Life. Warm spices with hints of cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. This is probably not one I would typically order um, just because there's not really any sweetness in it. I just ordered one of every poinsettia because I want to try them all. Yeah, this is Michael's Craft Store. Like when you smell it, it sounds like you just walked into Michael's. That quintessential like cinnamon wreath, I remember I just went to that Christmas festival, and they were selling those wreaths that are like the cinnamon wreaths. I was like, I could never have one of those in my house, because this was not my scent. Tree Farm Sugared Spruce Trees, and I love Bath & Body Works Tree Farm. I love, like, that sugared spruce. That's, like, I think my favorite tree type of scent. And I love this, too. It's sweet, which, and it was so funny. Deb, if you're watching this, she hauls a lot. She used to. Um, not from VCS. She stuck with Candles by Victoria. But she described Sugared Spruce one time as like a, um, now I can't think, like cotton candy, like bubble gum. Because it's just super sweet, but it has the tree. And I can totally get that, like out of a Sugared Spruce. Like it smells like a delicious, sweet Christmas tree. And then last, another classic from Kirby for Christmas, Cindy Lou Who. And this is Cranberry Ginger Ale. Her ginger ale scents, I, like I said, I think I like ginger ale better than Fizzy Pop from most people. And I do. And I think it's because Fizzy Pop is like way too much in the lime, like lemon lime, where ginger ale adds that little bit of ginger and it kind of, I don't want to say makes it more sophisticated necessarily, but it definitely makes it more like... Not as bubbly, but bubbly enough. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a more sweet fizzy, if that makes any sense. And then last, I ordered this. I don't remember what shape it was, but Kirby messaged me and she oversold. And I'm a friend, so I don't really care. And I said, it's no big deal. Just send me, if you have a shape, just send me a shape. So she sent me this adorable little snowman. And it's in Insidious, which is a blend I created for her. Or I told her this was run from... 
that company that I hate, um, that doesn't throw. Um, they, I created a blend like this from them, so I said in my video, can somebody create a blend that actually throws? So these yes did for me. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Marshmallow Fireside, and Palo Santo. Hate's a strong word. Strongly detest. That's better. I love it. I love it. It's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside's in the background, but Palo Santo is so good. I swear blended with everything and blended with Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. It's life. Now, we get to talk about my babies. My four-pack coins. Back in the day, Kirby offered four-pack of coins. These coins, you guys, are gorgeous. I love them. No cutting involved. Nothing. They are beautiful. They're flat. They have the beautiful ruffle. Oh my god, this scent. You guys, this is a row, row back and forth in your seat. And they have this beautiful rose petal on them. They're just, they scream vintage chic scents. When you think vintage, these, I mean, oh my god. It's, it's just, they're perfect. Four is just the right amount to get to try a scent if you're not sure. Because I remember back in the day, a lot of people said that they didn't love that vintage chic scents Kirby only offered big sizes. So when the four pack coins came out, they were perfect because they're just the right amount for you to try something without committing to something and like she doesn't offer clamshells. So it's it's just I like that it's more unique. So when she told me that she was gonna bring back the four pack of coins, I got just a teeny bit excited. And uh, Kirby and the peanut butter. Alright, so Kirby and the peanut butter. She created a peanut butter and jelly. Obsessed. And then Catherine King was like, Drew, imagine it with raspberry jam. And I'm like, I could make that happen. So I talked to Kirby and I said, we need a raspberry jam peanut butter. And she's like, on it. So she ordered a raspberry jam oil, messed around, did some experimenting. And then I was like, well, peanut butter and jelly, you want a vintage name. I said, what about a lunchbox? Like, someone, I, I wasn't really sure of a whole lot of vintage people that would, like, maybe anybody that's, that's an older actor or actress that's known for eating PB&Js, but, you know, that person's um, lunchbox. And then she goes, what about the collectible lunchbox? Because back in the day, those metal lunchboxes, it was before my time, so I'm just telling you how, what I have heard from Kirby. They had these metal lunchboxes that were collectible with characters on them. So, she also mixed it, because me and Catherine both alike love our zucchini bread. Collectible lunchbox. Raspberry jam, peanut butter, and zucchini bread. You guys, you guys, you guys. Oh my god. It is so good. And what I love about this is peanut butter and zucchini bread are equally half and half in the background. You smell them both. When you sniff it, you smell that creamy, rich, as I call it, the PB2 scent. It smells like powdered peanut butter. You get that rich creaminess of the zucchini bread. But raspberry jam is definitely sitting front row in this fragrance because that raspberry jam is seedy, it's gooey, it's fresh. J Charity, I'm looking at you. You need to try this scent. Actually, anybody. Lori, Charity, Carson. I know you tried Graham Cracker Crunch from Scentsy and it was good. Try this. I'm telling you. I'm calling you out in the video. Place a VCS order. Collectible lunchbox, you guys. Amazing. And I, I knew I was going to love it automatically, so I ordered a Blossom Bar in it, too. Because I just knew I was going to love it. I mean, peanut butter, raspberry jam, and zucchini bread, even if it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be smelling like, I would still like it. So I knew that I needed all of the things in it, and she wasn't wrong. Kirby, I told you many times I love you. Love you. And yes, even though I'm talking about it highly, I did pay for it. Next, here's the list, check it twice. 
zucchini bread, sugar cookies, chestnuts and brown sugar, gooey butter, and fresh rolled dough. I can't remember if I've ever smelled this before, but I was binge watching some of Danny's Vintage Chic Scents videos, and she talked about how much she adored this scent. And I can see why. It's so good. Chestnuts and brown sugar is another scent that Kirby does out of this world. Gooey butter, you can pick it up. It's like, I don't want to say lobster butter, like clarified butter, because that's kind of weird, because then you would think like lobster. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's gooey. The zucchini bread and the sugar cookies. To be honest, I actually think zucchini bread sits kind of in the background here. Like, it's not super easy to detect, but you can smell it, but it's not like right there, boom, in your face, but it is, it is so good, it is so yummy, mm. here's the list, check it twice, and the label's so cute, it's red and green, the next one is Benji's Home Soda, and this just screamed my name, juicy pomegranate, sweet raspberry, and bubbly ginger ale, why, because ginger ale, and oh yeah, um, pomegranate raspberry ginger ale. So let's see. Pomegranate is an interesting scent because you can smell it, but like I don't necessarily think pomegranates themselves have a smell. And when I smell like pomegranate juice, like the palm in that bottle, that like too looks like a pomegranate, I think it's more tart than this. And like when people capture pomegranate in a scent, I think it's sweeter than a true pomegranate pomegranate is, but I'm not complaining because it smells out of this world. It's so good, and the ginger is sweet. Now, when Kirby asked me, is there a scent that you want <laughs> in four pack of coins, I was like, Sandy's Famous Orange Julius. It's something that I always remember loving from Kirby, but just haven't had it in forever. And she's like, well, let me look. She didn't have enough oil, so she needed to blend it with something. I said, work your magic, girl. You know you can do anything. When I got a message from her that she poured the scent, and she also named it. Oh my god, I'm not going to get emotional. It's orange juice dreamsicle cake topped with whipped cream. And she named it What Baking Can Do which is my favorite song in Waitress. I don't know why, maybe because I inspire to be, well, I don't want to inspire to be Jenna. The show is based on a woman who's in a horrible relationship with her husband, but she goes into her, her kitchen and she shuts out the outside world when she makes these amazing, beautiful pies. And when she makes them, she comes up with these crazy names. And in the song, written by Sarah Bareilles, she sings what baking can do that's the name of the song and I love the song I've seen the show ten times I'm actually going to New York in three weeks to see Jennifer Nettles in Waitress I'm so excited it'll be my 11th time seeing the show I have it tattooed on my arm sugar butter flour this is a wicked tattoo but love love the show and just to have something named after the show and Kirby loves the movie but she hasn't seen the show Kirby we need to go see the show. Just saying. And you guys, I didn't even talk about the scent yet. It smells like one of the best orange juice cake. Like those poke cakes. When you think of those poke cakes, the ones that are like a basic white cake, you put coals in and pour juice on top, or syrup, that's what that smells like. And Lori, I know you say you don't like whipped cream and wax. I t honestly do not smell any whipped cream in this. It's just like a really bright citrusy orange cake and Kirby this is me asking right here on camera for a blossom bar in what baking can do and you know the last time I was in New York I brought marshmallow mermaid pie to melt my hotel when I see waitress I'm bringing what baking can do and that's my video my love letter to VCS my love letter to Waitress and Sarah Bareilles. My love to please wear a mask so we can keep Broadway open again. Because there's nothing more magical and more wonderful than seeing a Broadway show and making the world a better place because of it. And I know that there's better things in life than Broadway. But it's something where you can just shut the door, sit in the theater, and enjoy magic happen every night. 
that involves so many people. And I feel like that lacks in the world, no matter how much has changed. No matter what goes on in the world, Broadway still needs the front of house, the back of house, the inside. There's so many components to a Broadway show that will never change, and that's the magic that I love about Broadway. And I love my wax, and I love Broadway, and most importantly, I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye!